Okay, today's video topic is going to be me trying to mediate and kind of adjudicate a video that I came across between Vouch and Destiny. Now, I want to preface this with saying I know nothing about their past conversations or anything about how their relationship is, whether it's tumultuous or whether they get along or whatever. I know nothing about any of that. I've seen very few of uh, Vosh's videos. I've seen quite a few of Destiny's though. But there's this video of them. I'm gonna, we're going to look at it through Vosh's channel. And uh, I just want to go through it and kind of kind of adjudicate like who has better points here and maybe where one of them is, you know, out on a limb and so forth. So we're going to watch the video. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. We're just going to dice it up and then I'll uh, give my my take on the, the points. Institutional barriers and that people who make uh, 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 bootstrappy individualist arguments as you have here about how Nobody's it's financial bootstrappy individual argument. So all I'm saying is that mm -hmm. one of the biggest ways you can control your budget is to control the place you live in. And that sometimes if you're a poor person, sometimes moving to a different area can be a good way managing your budget. That's all I'm saying. Is there anything there that you disagree with? Uh, yeah, that sometimes the uh, costs associated with moving are substantial and they can prevent people from moving, especially if you're disabled or have a family. Okay. Yeah, substantially so. You do realize the entire video that I have just watched, of yours, um, is a is a screed of arguments you would have argued against two years ago. Some of these arguments are riddled with survivorship bias. Some of them no, sound oh, very whoa, similar whoa, whoa, to arguments. You're, 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 going, you're going way over course. So if you're like a fucking disabled war veteran with a family of 27 or whatever. And you no, 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 no. If you're a regular, oh, okay. one of the many Americans who lives paycheck to paycheck or can't afford a $300 emergency. Not if you're a disabled war veteran with 87 children. If you can't, both if you can't afford broken. anything in your life, then how are you even affording your current rent? What? Because co moving is an additional cost. Because you Not add it to the existing that much, and you'd cost. be saving money after moving. You'd move to someplace cheaper. Obviously, Destiny is using a little bit of hyperbole there. He's being a little hyperbolic about, you know, if, if you're a disabled veteran with blah, blah, blah. Um, not sure he actually thinks that. He's being hyperbolic. And then, um, you know, Vash goes on and say, you know, it's most Americans can't afford a $300 um, emergency. They don't have funds. I've heard this before. Like I've heard 300, 400, I've heard 500. Um, I'm not sure, you know, where we can pull up that data or statistic from. Um, I imagine it's, it's probably tr true to, a, to a certain, you know, price line to a certain amount of money. Like, I don't know whether it's three or five or six. I'm, sh I'm sure it's true at some point. Um, and it's definitely not a good indication of the economy in our society as a whole, but it also says something about the individual who can't, um, you know, who can't afford a four hundred or five hundred dollar payment. And um, you know, they have made some poor choices, I'm sure, that have got them to that point. And I'm sure there are quite a few things that are had happened in their life that were out of their control that also led them in a, into a precarious situation with their finances. It's obviously always somewhere in the middle. It's very rarely one or the other when it comes to such complex issues like this. So what your experience has been moving around when you're poor, but usually moving to a place that is so cheaper that is that it is very quickly outpacing the initial expense of moving means you're going to be moving very, very, very much farther from uh, places where you can find work or places where you already have um, uh, uh, inroads. If you have children, right this now, becomes the United infinitely States is harder. the lowest it's ever been in the history of the whole world. If you can't find a, a job at 3.5%, right, you should kill yourself. Yeah, I know. Probably, yeah, you probably, you're not going to make it anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, and th so, this so, is. So, wait, and this wait, is wait, 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 wait. So let's oh, immediately please. drop the argument you can't find work. That's a bullshit claim. You wait, can't find what? Work. You do? Wait, 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 wait. The, wait, the unemployment being low doesn't mean. This. Um, th this is. Now, I, I, I have just an anecdote on this. But um, I have a degree, a bachelor's degree in economics. Um, and when I got out of school, it, I'd, I'd never even, um, I never even got, I got three interviews. 
and I applied at countless places, places that, you know, are for positions that were directly tied um, and linked to my degree and are very specific in the field. And then I also applied to, you know, I just started getting kind of desperate and applying to places that really weren't in any way, shape or form corresponding to my degree. Um, and I just couldn't even land an interview. And this is throughout, you know, the last the last few years, a few years ago, when unemployment was, was low. Um, it doesn't mean that people still can't find jobs. And especially in today's market, um, you know, there are a lot of people who still can't find jobs just because the unemployment is low. Um, and it just because you don't, you know, and, and I had, I had, a bachelor's degree and I had a resume put together by eventually by a prof, you know a professional um, resume service who put together a hell of a resume for me and I couldn't even land an interview and what was sad is that I knew if I could get an interview I would get the job I got two I got three interviews turned down one job took one job found out it wasn't for me and then the third one didn't end up getting um so it can be still difficult to find a job. Now, I mean, now I, you know, I, I own my own business, so I basically took matters in my, into my own hands. So again, it works both ways. It's like it, what both of them are saying here is kind of accurate. Destiny is saying, you know, there are things that you can do within your own power that can put you in a better position to make, um, you know, money at least enough to where you can save up enough to where you can move and then shed some expenses and then you'll pile up more money. And then on the flip side, what Vash is saying is also true that just because unemployment is low, it doesn't mean that you can find a job. It doesn't mean that jobs are readily available. It doesn't mean that you have the credentials to find a job. Uh, all that is, is both true on both sides. The, okay, so the you know, deposit you know, is the cost of the okay, the, the... So, so okay cool okay you don't know any about this that's fine so what you put down you put down the first to, month's rent and it. you, you put to... in the month's rent for the, for the deposit sure so you what, and that segment it, usually gets taken out in deposit, large sure. part by the so renters you, you why are you so you... fucking mad dude all of these oh are arguments you would have made against sargon two years ago no, it's actually the same arguments that I've always made. As I've said, one of the things that worries me about when I talk about is systemic or structural things is there will all be, always be clueless, dumb fuck college kids like you. You haven't made a single counter argument to my point. Let me know I know you're I really fucking sentence. mad that you're getting let talked down to right now by one of your previous chatters, but if you could address the arguments shit. I'm making. Oh, let me know. Are you done? Can I actually finish a fucking sentence? Is it a point? Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So just because there are systemic or structural barriers in front of you doesn't mean that you are literally a handicapped, mindless fucking retard that cannot do anything. Nobody in said this. Why is everything out of your mouth a straw man? man? Let me know when you're done. Why is everything a straw man? I'm sorry. I thought that we could interrupt you, you anytime that, I took contention that, with one of your points. You is that, that not something you like to say at the beginning of the debates? So do you think that it's literally impossible for every poor person to move to, uh, to Nobody believes that. Okay. So then you have to come up with a deposit. Sure. That's one thing you have to do. One, you said just find a new job after you move. Obviously, you fucking moron, you would find a job before fucking moving. You can comprehend that, right? You know Most people can't can afford do. a $300 emergency. I'm aware of the fact that it is possible to move. Nobody is arguing against that. Only that it is very difficult. There are systemic barriers which prevent people from doing this easily. And in some areas, it is not possible to find a cheaper apartment within that city unless you're willing to literally like uh, uh, go into like Skid Row area, which can be you know, a danger post for a lot of people. If you have kids, all all of these issues are multiplied exponentially. Moving no one here is saying it's not hard to move. All I said Nobody's saying it's impossible to move, Destiny. Why do you keep arguing against the straw said. man? All I've said is that moving sometimes is a really good way to reduce your budget. But no, your people... video, we just went over your fucking video, dude. It was riddled not only with open contempt for the poor, but individualist open arguments. Open contempt for the poor? Okay, Captain. Kill fucking... yourself if you're Condescend unemployed. Okay. Kill yourself if you're unemployed? I've never said kill yourself if you own I a say business. If, I'm saying that if you're using the excuse that it's impossible to find a new job in a market with the unemployment is low... Nobody said... Why do you keep saying impossible? Why do you keep because doing that? Saying, you can't find a new job. No, I said it's difficult. I'm pretty sure I've been How clear with difficult? my knowledge. It's easier now than it ever has been in the history of the United States, Bosh. What does difficult mean to you? Those are... <laughs> okay. Um, man, they went at it right there. They kind of just... And they're talking past each other the whole time. Destiny keeps saying that it's impossible 
where he's making it seem like it's 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 damn near impossible. Um, or Vash is saying it's damn near impossible, and then he's not saying that, and Destiny's saying that he is, and then Destiny's saying that I, I said it was hard, and Vash is saying no, you're telling me <clears throat> you're throwing straw man's out, like so they're kind of talking past each other, um, and it's not good for either one of them or the audience trying to figure out like you know where does where does destiny really stand on this where does vash stand on this how do we get to a common ground so let's just let's try to do that for a second one the school systems in this country in this country do not really teach um financial literacy not in the slightest um and you don't even really get it in higher learning either in in a four-year college unless you major in like economics or finance or accounting or something like that so you there are millions of americans who have no idea uh how to be financially responsible and how to budget and how to cut expenses and you know where where they're when they're living above their means how much they should be saving how much they should be investing there are, I would venture to say, the majority of people have no idea about any of that. And then part of that is their fault, right? They never took the time to self-educate. They never took the time to learn these things. In today's world, you can watch, you know, YouTube, you can audio books, you can get real books, you can Google search. I mean, if you want to learn something, all you have to have is the time and the determination to learn it. Um, and then... Also, on the flip side, you know, as a young individual growing up, some of these, their parents probably were in the same position. They were never really taught financial literacy. They didn't know much about how to be financially responsible. So they couldn't um, then teach that to their children. And then it's just a vicious cycle that keeps going down the line. Uh, At some point, somebody's got to come along and break it and you gotta you gotta teach yourself or you have to you know like i said major in something in college that will get you the education you need in order to to know how to be more financially responsible um and then that brings me to the moving scenario where moving you know you do always have to put up uh if you're moving into a renter's place security deposit first month's rent so i have heard before where you have to put up first and last um but I, I don't think it's like common, but I'm sure it is a thing. Um, you know, there are a lot of times where poor people, they don't have reliable vehicles. So their vehicle might not, if they have to move further away um, from their work or they have to move further out to to find a job or something like that, or maybe a job that they get isn't close to where they live, that can be a problem. Um, and then we can't even bring up <clears throat> like, um, city transportation because in most cities, unless you live in like New York city, the, the public transit is, is awful. It doesn't really get you to where you're going. It takes way too long. Um, and it's run down and it's not well kept, obviously. <clears throat> so you have that. Then you have, um, the fact that you probably have to rent like a U-Haul or something like that, which isn't too expensive. You should be able to at least manage that. They're like, you know, less than a hundred bucks for a couple of hours. Um, and then, you know, I'm sure you have at least one or friend that can help you put your stuff in the, in the truck and get to where you need to go in and or you have family at the same time. And then Vash brings up the other point where, you know, if, if you have kids, it obviously just exacerbates the problem of not being able to move, which is true, which is where I, I actually, you know, I've heard Ben Shapiro say this before, and it's actually one thing that I completely agree with. Um, like before you have your own, your own situation, your own life, your own financial security um, in order, you should not be having kids and i get it that they a lot of times it happens and you're not planning for it to happen um but you know you have to do everything in your power to avoid not 
to avoid having a kid before you can have your own finances in order at the very least you're never really you know ready emotionally or mentally for a child but you can be ready financially and if you're not you shouldn't be even flirting with that so the first claim that i would like to make and i think you would agree with this as a consequence we're still consequentialists here right we're still fond of yep. it yep rural utilitarian Con that flavor of consequentialism is my favorite yes cool. what you do know, we got yeah i've been i've been born in on the act utilitarianism for for some philosophy meme or came industry okay but, Go, okay, what do we got we, we can share it okay so as somebody with public outreach I usually find, and I think you would agree with this under most circumstances, that when we're dealing with an issue like systemic poverty or the difficulties faced by poor people when it comes to moving or um, the differences in availability of jobs in certain regions, it's more important for us, I think this is important again, uh, to not go on a screed about how you should kill yourself if you hadn't found a job and how everyone who disagrees with you is a socialist, LARPer, tanky college student, but rather to address the institutional barriers in a way that actually could, you know, meaningfully change something or bring up a topics that might lead people to action in the future. Most of the video that I just watched was you directly impugning the intelligence and moral worth of people who find themselves in situations where they have trouble paying rent or can't move or something. Okay, there are two parts to every discussion that we have. There are systems that we can analyze, but at the end of the day, there are individuals that live in those systems that you also have to give advice to. And guess what? The advice that you give in these two different realms are going to be exactly contradictory to one another. If I had a daughter that was going through school and she was like, man, you know, like, I feel like I'm fucked because like everybody in my class doesn't think I belong there. Do you think that I'm gonna say, oh, well, that's very true. You see, the system of education can oftentimes be slanted against you and sometimes job markets will push you out so just accept that and roll over and die of course not you say hey there are shitty things in life you have to deal with make the best of it this is how you deal with it you can give personal advice to somebody or give advice even to an audience at large while also acknowledging on a systemic or structural level this thing is fucked against you if you're poor in the united states there's a million things that are more difficult for you that doesn't mean you just tell everybody to roll over die and wait for bernie sanders to become president and fix them all with some top-down policy well you there actually did advocate you, you actually did advocate for people to kill themselves so the only time I said that was when somebody said it's impossible to find. <laughs> I got oh, wait, no, wait, no, Mr. wait, dude, Mr. what? Wait, this is again where I think they're kind of just you know talking past each other because what Destiny says there is 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 spot on, right? You know, you're not gonna. There are system systematic things in place that are gonna make it more difficult and inhibit certain people from prospering financially, but that doesn't mean that that's the advice you should give to any one individual that there are things in your way and barriers so you're always going to be in a situation you're in and you know this is out of your control and you know we need we need top down change and the government needs to come in and make these policy changes or you're always going to be in this situation that's terrible advice obviously so he is right in that regard that you would want to talk to the individual by saying you know this is what you could do you know, you could maybe cut expenses here. You could maybe not buy that certain thing that on your credit card and then carry a balance on it at all. You can maybe apply to this job and take this job in the meantime while you're still continue to look for something that pays better or something that's closer to your, to your residence. Um, you know, there are, you can, again, if you if you need to learn some things about finance and financial literacy and budget, you you watch this video, read this book. Um, you know, I'm sure you have a phone. There's re some really good apps. Uh, I know like Mint is one that I use to help you budget and help you stay on track with your finances. You, this is something you should be doing. These are things that you'd want to tell the individual so if they put these things into practice, they can pull themselves out of the situation they're in, all while at the same time recognizing that there are things in their way that are making it more difficult for them to achieve the financial freedom and success that they are uh, trying to obtain. And I don't think Vash disagrees with that. And what he is you know, saying is that you know the, the 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 systematic obstacles in the way um, make it more difficult for p 
people to achieve those things. So again, they're kind of talking past each other and they're yelling and laughing and it just doesn't look good. But really, I don't even really think they disagree much here. Um, it's it's very it's it's probably a minor disagreement between how difficult it really is for poor people to move in America. It is difficult, more, but that's a comparison. You, you, it's difficult as as opposed to what? Who? What are we comparing it to? It's more difficult for a poor person than a middle class person. Sure. Um, is it impossible? No. Um, are there systematic? barriers in the way that make it more difficult yes should you the advice you should give to any one individual should be nothing about how the system is holding you down it should be about what you can do in your own predicament to better yourself so that you can then save enough money to move and that move would then even further better your financial position um, that's obviously where we need to this conversation should be going um, but destiny's video of like adopt a poor person he was very hyperbolic that's kind of how he is it, it was always definitely over the top he said some things that you know aren't he doesn't actually believe but would definitely trigger somebody if they're watching it because they may feel attacked or someone else someone that they, they they know they may be like oh my god that's that's them and they feel kind of offended by it i get it and he probably shouldn't have used some of the language he used for sure. Um, and Vosh didn't like it and he definitely saw it as not helpful, which is true as well. I, I sincerely well, want no, to know. Who speaks in hyperbole who's literally banned from Twitch right now for suggesting that we buy misery. Okay, obviously I was being a bit hyperbolic, but when you're counting me, it's that's hard why to find I was a job laughing. when we are literally at the lowest levels of unemployment that have ever existed in the history of the United States. The U3 and the U6 unemployment are lower than they ever have been. It is possible to find a job. It is absolutely possible. Okay, so, so you ran, you so you the ran off a little bit there. Place, you oh, ran you off so, really, yeah, really far there. I have to say, I do wish, do you remember when we used to speak in good faith? I haven't really changed my policies, positions, or rhetoric since we spoke amicably That's with each great, other two years but ago. but I hate lefties now. I hope they all get fucking banned after this new, because it's the new counterculture. The new Jordan Petersons and Ben Shapiro's on the internet are the Kyle Kalinskis and the Hassans and all the other brain-dead fucking LARPing socialist dipshits that come on here and pretend to talk about economics or finance. They don't know anything about any of this, and it drives me fucking crazy to listen to it. Like this idea that if you're poor, it's impossible to move. It's I've so never fucking heard, stupid. I have never heard so anyone... Stupid. I have never heard anyone say that in my life. Of course life. not, because at the end of the day, you hide behind irony and hyperbole. No, and wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong, wait, wrong. The irony of Destiny telling someone else that they hide behind irony and hyperbole. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Um, yeah, I, I don't think anyone is really saying it's impossible. I think that's a straw man that Destiny definitely built up. Um because he gets triggered you know when people talk about finance and uh they don't know what the hell they're talking about which i i get i mean i have an economics degree um and the business i own is like an is an accounting business so i i understand what where he's coming from in that regards um but you know it, you gotta try to at least um keep a level head and have debates and discussions to where you're not going off on a scree and you're just yelling that poor people should kill themselves. Um, it, it's not, it's not helpful, but Hey, we all do it from time to time. We all, you know, get hyperbolic and kind of say things that tongue in cheek or say things we really don't mean or try to get a rise out of people. We're human. It happens. Um, but the whole time they're, they're really just talking past each other. They don't really disagree that to that level that this video makes it seem. If you want to talk about your general position, sure, but I really wish we could do it in a good faith environment because this feels incredibly antagonistic. For all, sure, it for is all antagonistic, the, for all the, the disagreement that, like... that you have had with broader left, I have still been one of the most tireless advocates for your worth in the general, you know, doing good things, trans gay people, whatever, making life better. Um, and I just, and, I, and I'm speaking, I guess, sincerely here. I genuinely wish I could have conversations with you in that context because sure, what I've seen lately but... has just been... You understand how fucking frustrating it is for me. I qualify the fuck out of literally every single fucking thing I say out to the fucking horse's asshole, okay? I don't know if there's a real expression, okay? I qualify everything, but it doesn't fucking matter. I still get clipped out of context every fucking day of the week anyway, so why the fuck would I waste I my mean, time? I mean, I do too. Okay, now this sounds like um, Destiny is venting more frustrations out in this 
uh, in this discussion and possibly in his la in the video that they're going over that that Vosh is going over um, that are far bigger than what is being said in this video. Um, you know, just the frustrations of probably being a public figure and having a bunch of people bombard him with stupid questions and stupid comments and hateful stuff. And maybe he's burnt out a little bit and that's understandable. And it also seems like Vosh is ready to put the, he's ready to take the gloves off, put them down and be a little more, uh, amicable and trying to say, you know, that, you know, he wishes that this conversation could have went better and they could have a, a real discussion about not just the the adopt a poor person video but destiny's overall position on poor people and how they can he can give them better advice and people can get better advice on how to um manage manage their finances and set them up in a better position so it definitely seems like they're getting to a certain point where destiny is venting a lot of different frustrations vash is trying to stop the the fighting and be more um, you know, friendly, more amicable, like I said, in their, in their discussion. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of working out. I'm not sure if it's really working out, but we'll see. Maybe okay, we'll sure. be able to. So if you know what my general positions are, okay, and I've had to deal with fucking LARPers, with frat boy dipshits, with fucking, with all these other bullshit people, if you know what my general positions are, and you watch this video, does this really sound like, wow, Destiny's 180 on his entire positions relating to systemic or structural poverty in the United States? I mean, or do you think, wow, this is probably more like an advice targeted, like, towards, like, what can you do to improve your life situation? I, and it I mean, seems it like it's probably not like so there are a lot of I've been, I mean, I've been watching like your videos for the past few months. I think your general tendency is wrong. I'd love to confront you in a lot of the positions I know you would defend rather than saying that things here were a little hyperbolic or maybe a little bit offense. Unfortunately, the DNC debates are just starting. Do you think, oh God, God willing here, do you think we could maybe talk a little bit more amicably or perhaps in good faith when we talk in person? Now when I hear that you're going off on some fucking video when it's another fucking lefty that's found one video of mine to just fucking screech about I am more aware of your content than any poverty When I've spent more time talking about it than any of you fucking people in this space ever fucking have. I am no, more, really I am more me. aware it's nice of that you're your being amicable to me. And apparently that didn't last that long. So uh, they, they, uh, they, Destiny starts getting kind of loud again, a little more um, angry tone in his voice, which is not good for, uh, you know, a conversation because the other person is obviously going to take going to get defensive no one likes being spoken to like that even if what they're saying to you isn't actually any kind of attack on you as an individual it's just a tone in someone's voice is is off it's not you know it's 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 not pleasant so it's hard to have a conversation sometimes like that and that seems to be what's happening here again um you know but just to uh just to put a cap on it and end it it seems like majority of the time in this video they're talking past each other i don't think vash really thinks that you know that destiny thinks it's impossible to move um i don't think destiny actually thinks that lefties think it's impossible to move and I don't think that, um, you know, that Destiny doesn't believe that there are systemic things in, in the way making it more difficult for people to move. A lot of this was just a video where Destiny kind of lost it, got a little triggered, said some hyperbole, seemed to be talking down to poor people. And then Vosh took that one video and kind of vultured it without looking or or without taking into consideration Destiny's full body of work on the subject. And then that's why they started butting heads. And again, I preface I preface this in the very beginning with I have not seen them debate before. I've seen very little of Vash's videos. I've seen more of Destiny's stuff. And, you know, I, I, I don't know, like, the underpinning... Um, things that are going on between either of them in their in their heads towards one another because of past um, discussions they've had or maybe rumors they've heard from other people. 
oh yeah, Dusty, I think you're blah, 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 blah. And then as soon as you, as soon as I hop off the call and you're on stream and I'm not there to confront you anymore, it's, oh yeah, Dusty, he's so fucking stupid and yeah, horrible. Yeah, no he shit. Really I try scary, to, blah, yeah, blah, because blah, when blah, I'm blah, having blah. direct conversations with people, I like them to be in good faith so we can examine the underlying issues. And when I'm going over uh, a video where you're screaming about how unemployed people like, should kill themselves, I'm okay. going to, yeah, shitting you for those positions. I all think right, those cool. are- Well, let me know on, on how your genocidal rampage against Israel goes, how you want them all fucking nuked to death, because that's what you got banned on Twitch Is that a good faith report? Because you want them to nuke them all? You want them to die? You want all Israelis to die, right? Like, I want all poor people to kill themselves, right? Do you remember like, what I said about wanting- that you're extending me. Is Do you remember that, is what, that what I you said want? about good faith discussion? You literally- Do you honestly believe that I'm telling all poor people to kill themselves? No, but the rhetoric implies underlying attitudes you have towards personal responsibility and the and the plight of the poor. Obviously, I don't literally think you believe 2.5% of America should kill themselves. I do believe the sentiment is underlying. And if you want to criticize me for the for the Israel thing, sure. But are you really criticizing me for it, or are you just trying to deflect off what I've said about no, you? No, I'm not. I'm not deflecting, and I'm not criticizing you for the Israel thing. I think hyperbole is fun. I love hyperbole. I'm hyperbolic all the fucking time. You see what I did there? That was hyperbole. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like is when somebody else that engages in hyperbole takes a hyperbolic statement of mine and tries to analyze it through the lens of, like, this strict interpretation of, like, oh, destiny. Hmm. I'm really taking issue with the fact that you told all poor people to kill themselves. I don't think that's very I responsible don't literally messaging. Think, and I don't think anyone watching my coverage of your video is going to think I believe that you literally want 2.5% of the population to kill themselves. That's literally uh, what you just said. No, I think that you the said, hyperbole yourself, expresses underlying attitudes that you have. I can, if yeah, you want, if you want, attitude. I will go back and I will edit the video to be very clear over that segment. I will say, I do not literally believe Destiny wants to kill however many million people. I do believe this sentiment, even hyperbolic, still expresses problematic attitudes towards the poor. If you so at least they ended uh, halfway on like a, on a good note. Um, they definitely need to be more charitable towards one another. Um, you know, Vash needs to not kind of vulture and prey on one video where he kind of when he understands destiny's full body of work at the same time destiny uh should at, by this point understand that you know when you put out a video and you're being that hyperbolic and you're kind of talking down to poor people or anybody in general that someone is gonna you know vulture it and kind of use it against you and you know they talked past each other for most of it now you know overall i really don't actually believe that they disagree all that much so to really adjudicate it would be that in a in a different scenario where they were being more amicable towards one another in the conversation and more charitable to each 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 is uh, argument i don't think that they would disagree all that much enough that would really warrant a, a long form discussion um, it's not impossible to move if you're poor there are but there are systemic obstacles in the way that make it more difficult and there are things that you advice that should be given to poor people and none of that advice should be about how the system is holding you down it should be about what that individual can do to pull themselves out of the situation they're in because you can't wait around for a system to change so that your life can get better.